Hi everyone, welcome back. So today's video, I wanted to share with you all tips on working out and wearing a wig. First off, if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Marie. Go ahead and click that subscribe button where you can get notifications each time I upload my videos. If you're already subscribed, thank you for joining me back for today's video. I wanted to share this with you all because I recently seen Doja Cat cut off all her hair and she talked about training and a wig and how stressful it is to deal with the wig and the glue and the sliding off. Personally, I work out every single day and I've been wearing wigs for the longest. I think they're the best protective style. I think they are amazing when you know how to work them right. So I wanted to give you all some tips on if you want to work out, but you don't know how to, but you still wanna wear wigs at the same time, but you don't wanna deal with the stress of your wig sliding off or trying to figure out what to do with your wig application. I wanna give you all tips on what I have found is the easiest way to be able to exercise and be able to wear a wig because I really don't think that you should jeopardize your health just to have a hairstyle. A lot of people, they choose not to work out because, oh, I don't wanna mess up my hair. I don't wanna mess up my wig. I don't wanna mess up my install. I think it's important if you're wearing wigs to understand that wigs are protective styles. You should be able to work out in them. You should be able to sleep in them if you want to. You should be able to do anything you wanna do to having the ease of not having to do so much to your hair when you want to work out if you choose to wear a wig. For those who may say, you work out in a wig, why do you work out in a wig? I mean, why do you work out in your weave? Why do you work out in braids? Because it's a part of your hairstyle. Um, it's just a different type of hairstyle. So if I install a wig for the week and I wanna work out, I'm not gonna take my wig off just to work out. I'm gonna work out in that wig. So that's why I said today's video is going to focus on giving you all my tips on what I like to do to maintain not only the hair, but also just the install and what gives me the most secure way of wearing a wig without sweating it off. We're gonna jump right into all those tips. If you would like to see that, make sure you keep on watching. Don't forget to thumbs up the video and be sure to check out my previous videos where I offer more tips on wearing wigs. I have some videos in the description box if you need specific detailed videos. Check the description box below. Let's Just like right in wearing this hair throughout my workouts and it look a little bit dusty. I thought it was only fair to show how it look when it's styled and it's clean. I will be sure to link this wig below in the description box. I did a full video demonstrating how I applied this wig and also style it. So if you would like to see that video, it will pop out to you right here. But this is what the wig look like when I'm just wearing it and it's clean and everything. All right, so this is what the wig look like when I'm working out and I'm sweating. <laughs> first things first, let's talk about the wig after wearing it several days of working out. I do not wash my wig after every workout. That's just crazy. I wash my wig once a week. However, if I need my wig to be refreshed, I do take dry shampoo and I will apply this all over the hair. This refreshes the hair and it gives you that ability to wear your wig without it looking crazy. Now, as far as detangling, because I do train very hard, as you can see, the hair it gets really dry from the sweat and everything. But I don't like I said, I only wash it once a week. And if I feel like it's too dirty, I just switch wigs, basically. So what I'm doing here is just combing out the hair, getting out any tangles. And the hair is not tangling at all. It's just really dry. OK, sweat dries out the hair. So you have to make sure that you are using that conditioner on the hair more so than shampoo of course you want to clean the hair but you want to make sure that you deep condition also next i'm adding a bit of argan oil to the ends of the hair this will also help to give it a little bit of moisture so that once you are working out and sweating the hair won't get too bad it's it gives the ends of the hair and the hair at the nape of the neck a little bit of slip so that there's no matting so you may want to consider adding that to your routine Let's talk about how I wear my hair to the gym. So this is the wig before I am going to the gym. Um, the way it looked at the beginning was how it looked after I finished sweating. I think it's important to realize that when you're wearing a wig, you should treat it as if you're wearing your hair. Of course, if you was going to the gym or to work out, you would do something to your hair. You wouldn't do absolutely nothing. So what I'm doing is just straightening out the hair, making sure all the tangles are out of the hair from the previous day because like I said, sweat dries out the hair. So the more that you don't do to it, the more tangles you're going to get and the more dryness. As far as the application, as you can see, I set this wig on my head and it all automatically just looks good. So I like to use the combs that's inside of the wig because when I work out, I know I'm going to sweat and I work out every day. So it's pointless to glue my wigs when I know for a fact that 
a lot of these waterproof glues they still come up they still create a white residue around the hairline when you sweat so the best thing for me is to wear a glueless wig application now if your wig is laid and slayed and all of that good stuff once you apply it it'll look just like this okay so do you even really need glue right um, and I did a full video, I will pop it out right here, of how to wear your wig glueless, keep the ear tabs down without glue, all that good stuff. You can check out that video if you want more information. So this is how I lay my wig before I go work out and it works for me. Now, if you have a wig adhesive that works for you when it comes to sweating, by all means use it. However, I like that I don't need to clean up. I don't need to do anything. But if I was to wear a wig installed with glue, I'm going to tie down my hairline with a sleigh band while I'm working out. And then once the hairline is dry, I will remove it. I talked about this in a previous video also. Another option is if you're wearing your wig, you can put it back into a ponytail. Um, that way it'll be out of your face when you are working out. Or you can just pull it up into a cute little updo. And as you can see, look how natural this wig is laying, okay? So it's it's really no excuse on why you can't wear a wig when you work out because wigs are protective styling. I said with the glueless install, you don't need to worry about your glue coming up when you sweat. You don't need to worry about fixing your hairline. And if you wanna take your wig off at the end of the day, you can do that too and reapply it the next day. And it still should look amazing if your wig is already pre-styled.